Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover at your normally scheduled time. And let's continue playing as the Union of Britain. So, uh, there's a couple comments, not too many. Uh, someone just, you know, said they like my videos, which is cool, and I appreciate it. Appreciate your kind words. As well as someone else said about less than 24 hours ago at the time of this recording that the next person or next country I should play as is Germany. And I'm like... Well, maybe, maybe not. Uh, I play Germany quite a bit, but not too much. Oh, that'd be interesting. Maybe plays the Germans. I know someone wants me to play as Transamur and Kaiserreich, but the, I don't know when the next game update's really going to be, so I'm going to hold off on Transamur. But regardless, we shall go on and continue our um, revolution. We'll just say a revolution. All right, so it's going to take a long time for us to go to war with the Finns, who I didn't realize who were going communist. Go figure. Let's see. So they're getting less daily democracy support, as well as more internationalism support, which the Finns themselves chose. That being said, it's going to take freaking forever to justify or declare one of them. Six months. Six months? No. 120 days divided by 30 is four months. Four months. I swear, I, I'm okay at basic math. In Germany, breaks Molotov or Ribbentrop Pact, which is what we left off with last time. The non-aggression pact between Germany and the USSR, a surprising development to begin with, has now less surprisingly fallen apart. Germany has attacked, breaking the pact and returning once again to openly speaking of the Soviet Union as a menace that must be faced for the visions of the future to become reality. Wait. Oh. Soviet leadership is less than pleased, but perhaps less shocked by the betrayal than disappointed that they didn't seize the opportunity first. Now, this is interesting. I actually am reading this, and the trust between giants is a fragile thing, and Harry Pollitt becomes leader for the Communist Party instead of Rajini Palma. Same ideology, monthly opinion. Hmm. Minus 50% subversive activities. Common turn workhorse. Oh. oh. And he's back. Okay, we'll get more output ideology dr drift defense. I didn't realize that Rajini had such a positive aspect to him. Anyways, as you can tell... I'm really lacking in the military. This is uh, this is all my army. That's not enough. So I definitely increase the size of how many divisions are being trained. We can support it. We got enough infantry weapons. We got enough artillery. We got enough support equipment, and we are making a ton of medium tanks, which is really freaking great. Really, really gr superb and great. So we are going to be making a massive army. Hopefully that'll come out fairly soon-ish. I don't want to see the Soviets get beat too bad too badly because they are fighting the Japanese even though they are allied to the Chinese oh god yeah if I've if the Soviets actually win their war against both the J Japanese or at least push the Japanese out of mainland Asia as well as beat the Germans or at least not capitulate to them so I can beat the Germans to take the Soviets down and their alliance I will need pretty much all of Europe under my guidance not under my control but under my guidance yeah that's a better word to say because we we believe in equality and uh you shouldn't puppet your neighbors. But sometimes it has to happen. So make sure that they actually understand what's going on. Let's see. 1936 destroyer hole. Well, we don't need that. And Mocha, like normally, he wants to leave. So give me just a few seconds here. Sorry, Mocha. Bye, Mocha. And I'm back just like that. All right. Anyways, uh, I was looking around at my navy. It's doing okay. I just need heavy ships. I need battleships. Not really heavy cruisers. I need maybe battle cruisers. Not heavy cruisers, but maybe battle cruisers definitely carriers because i already have enough screens okay we're pretty good on screens it's just god i need some heavy ships i need some heavy boys here anyways uh i was thinking though we should go to word denmark why because that's another port of entry that we can get into germany from and that they will not be able to attack us very well if it's coming from over here and it only takes wait 180 oh there was 90 days earlier what happened what happened we got rid of Regini. That's probably what happened. I was going to say go to war with these guys, but it only took 90 days. I'm not sure why. Well, never mind. I was going to do that. But we're just kind of watching them here. You know what? If we wait 120 days, take out Finland. Doing this for 185 days really isn't that bad. Every day we wait, the weaker we... Or the stronger the enemy will get. We don't really get weaker. The enemy just gets stronger. And with that being said, let's go ahead and train some more ships. We have a positive amount of fuel... Train the subs, because they don't take that much fuel up. Also, I've been moving some subs around as well. Uh, plop you up here. That's good. Only seven, three things of 20, which do include some pretty crappy ships. Not going to lie, but whatever. All right, 
Have everyone train. Because I want more naval XP. Plus 0.148 a day. And in... Oh, look at this flag. That's a just a basic Netherlands flag with a hammer and sickle. Led by Lou de Visser. Unity through democracy. Oh. Look at, look at their actual focus tree. Unity... Oh, well, at least they caved to us. Unity through democracy, less daily communism support. What the garbage are you doing? No. Never. Uh. Uh. Oh, there we go. So we'll probably go the queen fires the fetus ministers. Well, maybe not. Uh, they should have went with communist support. They should have went down this way. Legacy of the Zeven Provincian Mutiny. Whatever. They will stay communist. That's why I don't trust them that much. Oh. Oh, the Soviets are not doing well. They're definitely not doing well. The fall of Nanjing. Eh, whatever. And improved computer machine. Very cool. It is 1940, so I'm okay with doing that. We're waiting for this next destroyer to get finished, so I can make it a better destroyer. Uh, yeah. Not really much is going on. What are we making here? Radar towers. Well, let's not just make radar towers and infrastructure. Fuel will be, of course, an incredibly scarce resource in the future. As well as silos. I'm running out of space here. This is not good. Military factories? I'm saying our military factories are pretty okay. We could use more planes, though. Yeah, we could really use more planes. Let's get some more military factories going in there. I always press the wrong buttons around there. 50? Huh. Oh, they got a lot of space, though. That's good. 70, 70, 72, 4, 5. There we go. Southwest England. And I don't really want to waste infrastructure, you know, waste this on infrastructure stuff. So, silos are good. Civilian factories, I think we're pretty good on now at this point. Wales. So be it. And, oops, I clicked this button. We don't need that. You non join con, con. Wait. Mutual. I thought you were part of the common turn. China, what are you doing? Oh, no, 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 no. You non. No, they took over China. They, it was, this is, this game series, this campaign is on a historical. Ah, uh, but whatever. You were part of the common turn. Now you're not. Now you're your own faction, and you probably won't do as well. But we'll see what happens. You know, we definitely will see what happens. So, uh, they got a lot of divisions. That's pretty good. A couple factories, not bad. A little bit of manpower, not a bunch. And radar, 1940s radar. Do that, and I will do nuclear technology. D do they have this as a core? No. Oh, what you not? Why did you do that? You're going to lose the war because now you don't have the manpower that China, normal China, actually has. Oh my gosh, the Germans are just destroying the Soviets. Please hold out for the next while, guys. Come on, please. Oh, they're, they're defeating the Soviets so well. They're sending military forces to where I owe in the Netherlands. Is anyone else starting to sweat here a little bit? Oh my goodness. Look, man, I just want Finland. I just want Finland. A hundred more days. We probably should go with the next focus that lets us go to war with the Germans. Oh, we can go. Oh, we can go immediately with the focus. Okay, so we're we're okay with that. Um, yeah, this is not looking good for the Soviets on either front. Empire of Japan. You know, China, Yunnan, you really screwed this up here. You really screwed us all up. Shame on you guys. Absolute shame. Ah, oh. but on the bright side, we are building quite a few places up. Uh, you know what? Get rid of this last one. You know, we have 40. We need... How many do we need to put in 40 with the medium tanks? Because we might as well just go ahead and convert them. Motorize. 35. No! We're so close. Yeah, just go ahead and do that for now. Which will just destroy our stockpile. Well, actually, that didn't destroy our stockpile too badly. That's not bad, actually. Our guys are training, which is good. And Harry Pollock calls to aid Danish workers. That's good. I know the Soviets, they got a lot of manpower. Well, they got a lot of divisions, but they're spread across two major fronts. That's really not good. Japan, how are you? You're just walloping everybody. I mean, you're obviously, you're breaking into mainland China. But, Jesus. Uh, there you go. Spiritual mobilization really does help. Superior will. <clears throat> I do have coffee here. Militarism. That would help. Zaibatsu's challenged. Hmm. State Shintoism. Interesting. There's really not much we can do except just wait. 
Depth charge mortars. Awesome. Now I'm going to build those 1940s thingamabobs. Destroyers. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I will need 1940s subs. But I need heavy ships. I really need heavy ships. But I'm making subs already, so... Alright, you're almost done, which is great. And they're done. Cool. Replace you with a 1940s destroyer that may or may not have really, really good depth charges. Do we have any better torpedoes? No, we don't. Darn. Depth charges. Oh! And a better engine. Yeah. 41 speed. That's freaking great. Really great. And... Good. Good. And actually, since we're here, I want to give my guys maybe a little bit more speed that use all these other things, not you. It does use more fuel. Unfortunately, it does use more fuel, which sucks, but whatever. Actually, do we have better sonar? No, we do not. That's fine. And then, see, those are the only two we have. Okay, that's fine. All right, then. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Keep building stuff up. Uh... Refineries actually would probably be a good idea to build those up once these are all done. And we definitely want stockpiles, stockpile as much fuel as possible. How are the ships doing? They're doing okay, I hope. Hope they're doing all right. Germany. Oh, look at all, all of our guys up here. Oh, yes. So good. Uh, ooh. Italy pursues cluster bombs with Germany. They just did the Pact of Steel focus. I know I didn't show you, but I checked it out and they definitely are. Um... What are we doing here? Nuclear tech would be fun, but we can't do this because our ruling party has to be democratic, so we can't do the tizzard mission. That sucks. Ooh, refitting speed, refitting cost, and ship repair speed, and two more naval docks. That's actually, expand the repair yard is very good. Oh, what is this? Ten penalty. Hmm. They got a lot of good things here. Destroyer training experience gain and destroyer combat experience gain. That's really good. But I need more, like, army stuff. Uh, what about down here? Soviet cooperation. Now, I could go with liberate the home of Marx. The birthplace of Marx has been infested by fascism. But that just lets me go get a, like, war goal against Germany, which we already have. Which expires in 1942. But by that time, we will be war with them. Anyways, can I help the Soviets out? Though we have our differences, we also share an enemy. We shall propose an attack from both sides, squashing the Germans before they realize what has happened. Uh, that's 70 days, Jesus. I would probably mark that down to probably 14, because as soon as one of you guys are in war, you want to be able to reach out to your ally that say, hey, I will help you soon. Not yet, but soon. That doesn't make any sense, but regardless, I would probably change the time on those on that focus, just in case a situation like what we currently experience has already happened, or is happening. This daily planning, more maximum command power increase, as well as daily command power multiplier gain with a little bit more experience. Chiefs of Staff Committee. We get basically bonuses right now that we can get, which aren't super great, but they're still pretty good. Uh, yeah, for all you infantry divisions. Oh, we're going to need more convoys too. We'll put you over here. Yeah, right there. So when we do invade Finland, we'll have a good time. My god, Germany, please, please stop killing the Soviets. German aggression for Katowice. Oh, they need to capitulate the... Oh. Wait, so is Germany at war with Japan? Hold on, before I ask that question again. Wool oh, my... Ugh, holy crap, look at the casualties compared to these guys. Jesus. That German AI, I might need to give buffs to the Soviets or something here. Because they are just destroying the Soviets right now. Holy crap. I mean, they do have <clears throat> the Barbarossa effect, plus 5% attack and defense against the country. Uh, mechanized defensive is very cool. Oops. Whatever. Let a day go by. Whatever. Um, just, oh my, holy crap, look how many divisions they have around here. Yeah, if I could, I definitely will have to get in this war sooner, sooner than later. Uh, what was I thinking of? <clears throat> Germany, your manpower. Intricate war econ economies. Oh my goodness. I just want to go to war with the Finns and, oh wait, and the Danish. Very cool. They are at war with... They are... The Germans are actually at war with the Japanese. That's very interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and start researching some nuclear technology. Well, holy smoke... Oh, no. Wait, China! China! Okay, so Yunnan, I guess, converted it to China, and they've got probably all their manpower back. 
Or at least they're getting more manpower, hopefully. Even though I know that number just went down, but it went back up. And it went back down, and it's probably going to go back right back up. Cool. Alright, and we're getting daily army XP. That's good. Come on, Soviets, hold out. Actually, I could send you some volunteers. But I'm going to go to war, hopefully soon. Oh, within 30 days. Actually, we'll be in war within 30 days. Hopefully the Soviets will continue to hold out. It's getting colder and colder as the days go on right now because it is November. So that should be a good help to the Soviets. Actually, Mexico is a Soviet republic. They're guaranteed by the U.S. Repeals Calles, Calles Law? Hmm. Weak church. What does that do? Because I haven't played Mexico at all. I'm really not interested in Mexico too much, but... That would be a very interesting country to play. Weak church with assertive church. Enforce Calais law. Atheist state. Now, do they go to war with Germany at any time? I know, I'm sure they can go with, uh, go against the United States. But, what is it? Smash the bureaucrats. One world government. The union of all communist movements. But, he can't do that because it requires the Bolivarian... The Bol Bolivarian Alliance. Close the defense plan. March southward. Oh, they have even stuff down here. Huh. Recent Mexican secession. Huh. Oh, well, whatever. Um, what can we do right now that we could benefit from greatly? Increase conscription, because our levels are just too low. Because I'm trying to maximize our army right now. So right now, we're just waiting for the Finns. Oh, no. Actually... If we go to war with the Finns, would that put us in a war against the Germans? And yes, I know, I know, they're going communist, but they're not communist yet. It is troubling to know that the Finns could potentially join the Axis. And if they do, then I'm not going to show you this video. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I'll probably have to restart it, but that's okay. I don't mind seeing what could happen in this alternative timeline. Hmm, Richard O'Connor. The Soviets are still holding out. They are still holding out, kind of. They're not like the Germans are not like just like smashing in immediately. Uh, you guys are fine. Seven more subs, great. Combine. Even though these subs aren't the best, they're definitely not the worst. All right, so you guys look pretty good. Oh, do we lose a sub? Holy! Oh no, you're a parent. Okay. I thought we lost a sub from training. That's not good. I mean, that probably does happen from time to time, but just. Don't kill yourselves. You're supposed to kill the enemies, not yourselves. And we got... See, we got so many destroyers here. I need heavier ships. Oh, we got another couple of destroyers here, too. Yeah. Go ahead and do that. Combine. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, they're... Okay, they're reinforcing. I thought I destroyed them for a second there. Uh, join you. Merge them all together. And we got four light cruisers as well. Like I said, we just need heavier stuff. Uh, you guys, you're actually pretty experienced. So, there's really no point for me to train you. Uh, let's see. This would give you way better benefits, but this early heavy, yeah, that would not be worth it. Uh, actually, can we upgrade this maybe a little further? Better radar, yes. Oh, you get more light attack, heavy attack. That's pretty good. Okay, not a better, better engine yet. I'll admit, 149 days of oil, and I'm, I'm not even using you really yet, so that's fine. Uh, good train all of you guys. That's going to kill my oil and, you know, fuel stockpiles. Whatever. Or not. Or not. Oh, nice. We can train everyone there and be okay with it. Yeah, seriously, Germany. Oh, my gosh. Look how many divisions I got. And, and of course, the Axis. Uh, and actually, with the subs. Oh, question the mo motives of Denmark. Better decryption. It is 1940. Get some of this infantry stuff since we will be at war fairly soon. And within 10 days of me declaring war, I will... Oh, we have three days left. Okay. Go ahead and stop training. <sighs> stop training. I want you to do... Naval invasion. But I want you to do it here. Here. All around here. I don't know if you can actually make it in here, though. Uh, I will need the subs, though, just in case. Naval invade, or help naval invasions... Here. That'll be good. Patrols. Oh, I don't want to send the... Actually, I need to train those patrols. I really want to say... Nice. We can go to war with them now. But... 
They cannot get in. Why? No reachable strategic area selected. We cannot get in through here. Because armies can pass, navies can pass. We cannot pass. The Danish belts. That makes no sense. I know my subs should be able to actually pass through here. Because you know, they can just go underneath the water. Ask for docking rights. Um. Well, they probably don't like it that we're justifying on them. But regardless, the shield must go on. Oh, oh, there's a lot of divisions here. Cool. Awesome. Which I will probably send down to Europe, because the Germans have, a, or allies have a bunch of guys there. Seriously, can our subs not get down there? Uh, I need someone to help get down here, please. Please. No accessible. God, freaking Dana. I got it. I really need to invade Denmark, so I can't do this stupid naval invasion I set up. Ah. Uh, why do you do this to me? I just wanted to love you and love you with my bombs and my guns. Yeah, you can't even do anything over here. Um, well, that sucks. You didn't need air support anyways, and we're being angered by Danish posturing. Very fine. I'm anticipating not a massive resistance against us, but I'm still anticipating a little bit of a little bit of stuff. All right, let's go ahead and go to war. Hopefully, they don't. Join the Axis. And all of our allies have joined. Yay! Don't you love allies? I love my allies so much. And I really want the tanks to do well. Ooh, 1940 sub holes. Awesome! Uh, definitely go to torpedoes because everyone can use torpedoes. And we're about to get Supermarine Spitfires. Awesome! Uh, we need better of this stuff as well. Fighter, carrier fighter planes. Come on, break across that river, which would make everyone else better off. Even though our guys are pretty inexperienced because we've added a, a lot more battalions to our mm, divisions. Words are hard, kids. All right. Naval Doctrine. That's good. I like Naval Doctrine. Anything for a flat bonus. Air Production Group. Ooh, Fighter Production. But eh, we don't even use fighters like I said before. Ooh, Light Holes and Trade. Ooh, I like this one. Let's go Destroyer Focus then. Come on. I mean, I'm not really worried about Finland. I just want to beat them as fast as possible. And we're winning pretty much on all fronts and all battles, except for one here. The Finns, they probably don't have that much manpower. Yeah, they don't have much manpower. they got a couple divisions. They have no planes, which is kind of surprising, honestly. If this is the case, that I cannot navally invade because the ships just can't reach them here. I'm going to do this instead. I'm going to send... We're going to do this right now. Why? Well, mostly because... Uh, I want to be ready to go as soon as possible to invade. Because I don't know when the Soviets are going to get near to collapse, and I want to capitalize on whatever I can get early on. If I do that, I can just stay, stay here. You will be trapped, as you won't be able to get any sort of supplies unless you break through, which might be possible. And then I am literally not invading any place that has supplies, which is we're going to cut off this area, take this group out, hopefully get the area around here, and I can think, oh wait, you didn't actually get a mission. Um, one, two, uh, I can't invade through here because our ships can't get through here. What I could do, block off the area around here, the sea, and try to get to Arhus, Arhus. Get to Arhus, that's really our goal. As well as this port up here. Uh, yeah. Just do along, along the entire coast. And we will attack from this side as well, on Copenhagen. So that's you. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. I wish there was a button where you could just click. That you click one division, you click the button which selects all the divisions below it. That would actually be kind of cool if you could add that. Oh, I was also thinking of something else here. So, you know how in wartime, people, countries, move their industry away from the front lines, like, you know, World War II, the Soviets moved a lot of their factories on the front, toward, more towards the Urals and whatnot. Uh, I was thinking, why can't you do that a little bit more um, in other countries? For example, I know it didn't happen historically, but, you know, France capitulated within three weeks in World War II. What if they, what if World War II lasted for France, like, three more weeks longer? 
Would they have time to move their industry out of the way before the Germans came in? Maybe, maybe not. Same thing with the UK. I'm not sure about UK history, but were they scared that maybe their their factories would literally get bombed, so would they move their factories closer to Scotland, maybe even Northern Ireland to a degree, to avoid German bombers, you know, from the Battle of Britain? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know my history that well. I love history, but I don't know it that well. Uh, just something interesting that could be added as a mechanic, especially could be using other mods like Kaiserreich, Furreich, or even the Great War mod. Something I just thought of the other day, like, you know, we can make it a little bit more interesting, especially if they eventually add in an espionage system into the game. I think that would make it a lot more fun. But, before I forget, guys, happy 1941. It is January 20th, and the Soviets are giving less ground than before against the Germans. That's good. And I guess a little bit less to the Japanese, who are really focusing on killing the Chinese. Jesus. I, I want to say, say I feel bad for the Chinese, but... It's ahistorical, so I don't feel that bad. Let's take a look at casualties. 7,000 losses. Not bad versus the 49,000. And no one else is really helping us. Uh, Soviet islands, Indonesia has quite a few factories, of course. And we have 222. That's pretty darn good. And even though we want our ships to be used, we have a lot of fuel. We have a current amount of fuel of over 1 million units, I think the game uses. Bye-bye, Miles Dempsey. You were, you were great. Oh, Miles Dempsey, you got injured. Oh, yeah, you're amphibious. Or naval liaison. Well, I'm using another guy now to become a naval liaison. Uh, yeah, you don't need to rush too hard. Miles Dempsey, just send you guys to craziness. Go ahead. I want you to push down. I need you to push down. Actually, the tanks right now could be used in a better light. Do this and cut the rest of the army off. Just go straight here right now if you can. Force an attack. Make sure they can't move. Oh, you're already kind of cut off. Um, cool. Oh, you're. Oh, there's two divisions up here already. I didn't realize that. Just cut them straight off from everyone else. And I don't see any divisions down here, so just go to Helsinki if you can, and then you can come over here to the major city and over here. That'll be great. That'll be really great. Hmm. Hmm. Coffee's good. Coffee's really good. Not sponsored. All right, very cool. Just break across over there, guys, as two divisions are breaking down for the capital. Awesome. Keep this guy in place. Make sure he doesn't move too far, too close. Uh, make sure this guy doesn't move. Awesome. Now we shall do the encirclement of a lifetime. Oh, there's some Spanish soldiers here. How dare you? Awesome. This front's done. We took the fort. I didn't think we actually would be able to take it. But regardless, very cool. Uh, you go to Turku, then you come out to Tampere and Helsinki. Awesome. And now we can go to war with the Danish. And we have better torpedoes. Uh, before I do 1940 sub holes, I will get better snorkels. God, there's so much excuse me, research that you have to do before you can really do very much else. Radar will be very important. Actually, build as much radar in Friesland as you possibly can, because we will. I want at least a little bit of radar to know information about Denmark before we actually invade. And I, of course, I am a running out of things here, space to build stuff. Uh, do that. Oh man, we are really running out of space. That's okay. I will probably need more forts down here. Oh my gosh, did I not build any forts on this side of the line? Oh, because I liberated these guys. Yeah, do that. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm expecting some major losses against the Germans. Territorial losses, at least. Nice, the tanks are doing great. Let the tanks go in, crush these guys. Uh, yeah, you do that, you do you. Come on, tanks. Just dig on in, dig on in. I mean, these guys are losing... Probably some supplies. They aren't losing a bunch of supplies because there is a major city up there. But I will not end the episode until Finland is gone at least. Come on, we're so close to Helsinki. Take the capital. Oh, very Fulmar. Very cool. We will need better naval bombers as well. It. Oh crap, it is 1951. I need to research better stuff. Carrier fighters. Better. Good. 1940 subs. Well, oh, more military factories. Well, naval bombers are good and all. I love tactical bombers. 
Heavy fighters, I will definitely need more of. Support equipment, artillery, probably more. Uh, this is doing okay. We got a lot of motorized. Holy crap. And of course, like normal, we've been cut off. Just like the Finnish army. Very cool. Awesome. Finish them off, boys. You guys got this? Just try not to lose too many divisions down here. Oh, why are you in the water now? Don't leave in the water! It's dangerous down there! Okay, go ahead and send these boys back down. Destroy our focus. Awesome. Come over here. And please just take these guys out. Alright. Convoy escort focus. Very cool. Better light hole production. Yeah. Oh, I still have a sip of coffee left. Hmm. Very cool. They These guys are dangerous. I mean, what the heck are you guys doing? Oh, come on, guys. Tanks, I need you to go ham. I need you to go... get, Or at least get down here first, and then go ham. Go ahead and finish these guys off. No problem. What are the casualties like? 25,000 versus... 122,000. And they're done! Great! I'm gonna add them to my Scandinavian collection. Great! Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Have you seen anything more beautiful? Well, I shouldn't really be asking that. I mean, we already have something really beautiful here. But, you know, that's just a matter of egalitarian opinion. But with that in mind, we will end this episode here. Because we have done a great thing. We have all of Scandinavia in the future to be... Egalitarian. Communist. Totally not... I'm not going to make a joke about today's uh, countries in Scandinavia. Regardless, uh, leave a like if you like the video, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we take out Denmark. And hopefully see the Soviets give the Germans, as well as the Japanese, a hard time. Thanks for watching, guys.